This is the ECG of a wild case that I managed on my last night shift. A 40-year-old man was out with his wife and two children when he suddenly clutched his chest and then collapsed down to the ground. And the wife screamed for help and called 911. Bystanders came and started CPR. There was no past medical history, no medications. He just collapsed. Paramedics arrived shortly afterwards and found the patient to be in asystole, in other words, flat line. And so they did eight rounds of CPR and gave one dose of IV epinephrine and they were able to get a pulse back. So they ran this 12 lead ECG, which showed ST elevation in AVR and V1 with ST depressions everywhere else, which is a pattern that often indicates that there could be a left main coronary artery occlusion. In other words, a catastrophic heart attack. They transmitted the ECG to me in the ER, and as soon as I heard the story, I activated code STEMI, calling the interventional cardiologist and the surgical team into the hospital in the middle of the night. While the paramedics and the surgical team were on their way, I briefed my team in the trauma bay so that everyone knew what their roles and responsibilities were. And literally, as soon as the patient was transferred onto our stretcher, we were off to the races. Vital signs, extra IVs, a norepinephrine infusion to support the patient's blood pressure. We pushed ketamine and rocuronium, and my resident successfully intubated the patient and also pushed an OG tube or a feeding tube down into the patient's stomach. X-ray swooped in, shot a chest X-ray that confirmed the correct placement of all of our tubes. And as soon as they stepped out, we pushed crushed aspirin down the feeding tube into the patient's stomach and administered IV heparin or a blood thinner. 18 minutes after the patient rolled into our ER, he was being wheeled off to the cath lab and going for surgery. And to give you some frame of reference for how fast this is, the standardized benchmark or the standard of care is 90 minutes. We were so damn efficient and it felt just like a Formula One pit stop. And I was so incredibly proud of my team. There were high fives all around. I was fist bumping the paramedics and I told them, these guys literally saved the patient's life. This is what it looks like when every link in the chain of survival holds strong. And I think this is how you give a patient their best chance at survival.